Hey guys, and welcome back to another Nightcore Store video. The Nightcore EDC25 is a slim bodied everyday carry light with a customizable output. It utilizes two Night Labs UHI 20 LEDs to output a maximum of 3000 lumens and has an easy to digest indicator light array showing the battery level and output level of the light. This has a hybrid beam shape with a decent amount of throw, making it perfect for just about every scenario. So let's go ahead and check out the EDC25. All right, and now let's see what comes included with your purchase of the EDC25. Well, we have a USB-A to USB-C recharging cable for the EDC25. We also have this paracord lanyard and this little bit of string. But what is this for? Well, it's actually for stringing the lanyard through this little hole on the EDC25. And so what you do is you take the string, pass it through the lanyard just like that, and then you take the EDC25, put this together, string it through that, like that, and then you can get rid of this cord, and then loop this around, just like that, cinch this down, and now you're ready to go with your lanyard. All right, and now let's take a close up look at the build quality of the EDC25. First of all, I'm gonna give you all a look down the bezel there. Those are gonna be two Night Labs UHI 20 LEDs. And both of those are gonna be surrounded by an orange peel reflector. As well as that, this, this is an upgraded lens from what I've heard. And that little black dot right there is going to be a new proximity sensor with a new proximity sensor system. However, we'll get into that in a little bit. The entire body of this light is going to be made out of aero grade aluminum alloy with an HA3 hard anodized finish. And then on the flanks of the light, there are going to be these two grip pads on either side. And then on this side, there's a USB-C port where you can just peel that up with your thumbnail and then access the USB-C port. This has three sets of indicator lights, the battery right here, along with the output in the lockout status. You can see that that light is red. If I were to unlock it, the battery is green and then the output is blue. Around back, we have this full metal clip right here, which has a lanyard hole in it where I have the lanyard already attached like I showed you before. And then these little reminders on how to lock out the light or how to unlock the light. And then moving up here to the top, we have this two button UI with the power button and then the customizable button. And then encased in the body is going to be an internal customized 1,700 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. And now that you know what this light is made out of, let's go ahead and check out how to operate this light. All right, and now let's jump into how to operate the EDC25. Now this is a two stage power button and a one stage customizable paddle. And so we'll start off with the power button here to turn the light on, obviously full press the power button and then to turn it off, full press it again. Whenever you switch the light on, you will see that the indicator lights will turn on, and as long as they are on, you can half press the power button to change the output from ultra low to low, then medium, high, and then back down to ultra low. However, if you wait for more than five seconds, these lights will go ahead and turn off like that in order to conserve battery life and, you know, not just stay on and be constantly annoying. And so to bring those back, half press the power button again, and then once they're back, you can switch the output. The EDC25 also has a mode memory, so if I were to go ahead and throttle this up to the medium output, turn it off, and then back on, you can see that it will return to the medium output. As well as that, it also has an instant ultra low, and so if I were to turn this off here, and then hold the half press, it will come on momentarily, as whenever I release pressure from the half press, it will go away. And then it still retains the memory of the medium that I just put in. And so if I were to go ahead and click it back on, it will retain the medium output. And now moving from the power button operations over to the customizable paddle operation, this is a one stage paddle. And right now I have it set to turbo. However, in order to change it to strobe, all you have to do is hold the paddle and then full press the power button. And then it will change it over to strobe. And so now whenever I press the power button, it will change to strobe. And so that's where the customization comes in. Rather than having to fumble through a half press or a full press, you can just set what you want. And it's pretty easy to swap between uh, either output that you want. 
And so I'll go ahead and leave it at turbo for this demonstration. And a special note about the turbo for the EDC25, whenever you activate it, it'll use this blue output array to show how much time left is on it. So it'll go down to three, two, one, and then it will shut off and it'll go back down to the high output. Now, if you're ever traveling or you want to store the EDC25 without the risk of it turning on and you want to lock out the light, all you have to do is while the light is on, hold the power button. It doesn't matter if it's a full press or a half press and it'll flash once and it's in half lockout. So none of the power button operations will work. However, whatever you set the pedal to will still work and you can still change the function of the pedal. However, if I were to unlock this by double pressing and holding on the second press, so pizza pizza, that's kind of how I remember it. So pizza pizza, like the Little Caesars thing, you'll see that the blue bar fills up and then it is unlocked now. And so to get a full lockout, similar to half lockout, while the light is on, hold the power button. Again, doesn't matter if it's full or half and hold it past the one flash until you get to the two flash and now it is fully locked out. And you can unlock it the same way as the half lockout by double press and holding on the second press. And so pizza pizza, and then you see it's unlocked. And if you ever forget how to do it, luckily, like I said before, the instructions are on the back of the light. As you can see, I have the light plugged into a power source and you can see the progression of the charging through this indicator light right here. And while it's plugged in, you can still use it in its normal operation through ultra low, low, medium, and high. However, none of the pedal uh, operations work while it is plugged in. And lastly, for the operation, like I promised, let's take a look at this all new proximity sensor. The way it works is it only reads if there's something in front of it the moment that you turn the light on. So let's go ahead and say that I have this in my pocket and something bumps up against the turbo and it automatically steps down. I don't know if you saw that, but it just automatically steps down. However, if I were to be flashing this and then all of a sudden a piece of snow like falls in front of it or rain gets on the lens or dust gets on the lens, nothing is going to have it step down. Only if there is something in front of it whenever it is initially activated will it actually step down. So I think that this is a very nice quality of life upgrade to keep your pocket safe, but to also not get on your nerves if you're in a rainstorm or a snowstorm, or you're just using this and then something happens to come in front of your light. This is a rad upgrade right here. This is a thumbs up. All right, and now for my favorite part, the specs. Looking at the EDC25's ultra low setting, it has an output of 15 lumens, which will go for 55 hours. The low output has 65 lumens, which will go for 14 hours. The mid is 200 lumens, which will go for four hours and 15 minutes. The high output is 1000 lumens, which will have a burn time of one hour and 30 minutes. The burst turbo then has an output of 3000 lumens, which will go for around 15 seconds before stepping down. It has an effective range of 328 yards and an astonishing candela of 22,500. The entire unit is IP54 weatherproof, with one meter of drop resistance. It's 5.37 inches long with a width of 1.24 inches and then a slim height of 0.84 inches. This is also going to be weighing in at a pretty lightweight 3.67 ounces. All right, and now let's really quickly compare the EDC27 to the EDC25. I already have the specs charts up on the screen for you here. And as you can tell, the EDC25 has more throw and more overall burn time. And looking at dimensions, these are going to have pretty much the exact same footprint. Albeit, I mean, I have the lanyard attached to this one, but these are more or less the exact same body structure. However, the EDC25 is going to be a fair bit lighter than the 27. And as well as that, these plastic bumpers that are going to be on either side of the lens are much more reduced on the EDC25. And so even with the lanyard, it's pretty easy to stand upright as compared to the EDC27 which is a little bit more wobbly, you can see. Another thing that differentiates these lights from each other is going to be the proximity sensor system. With the EDC25, it only activates whenever it first turns on. And so if I were to turn it on right here, it steps down and then the moment I move it away, it steps back up. But if I were to put anything back in front of it, like my hand, it's not going to be stepping back down. The EDC27's proximity sensor system is a lot more finicky in my opinion. 
as it sometimes just doesn't activate. As you can see, I'm like pressing it against the table and it's not stepping down. And if it's raining or snowing and it does actually activate, it doesn't step back up once the obstruction is gone. And so I like the EDC 25 a lot more as it actually prevents it from activating in your pocket as if you were to turn it on in your pocket, then it needs to step down like that. But if you're actually using it and it is snowing or raining and something gets in your way, then you need to keep the turbo on. And so I think the EDC 25 has a much better proximity sensor. And last but not least, I'm gonna point out some of the more obvious differences. The body is a little bit different between the EDC 25 and 27, as this section is convex and this section over here on the 27 is concave. Of course, the 27 has this OLED display, which is pretty nice. I like seeing the runtime. However, it is kind of hard to see, especially for me behind the camera and it flicks off. And so it's pretty cool, um, but I think that the EDC 25's UI is going to be much more easy to decipher, especially with the different colors. And lastly here, the pedals on both of these are going to be different as this is going to be a single stage programmable, like I already showed you. Whereas the EDC 27's is a dual stage non-programmable. And so on the half press, it's turbo and a full mash, it's strobe. However, the amount of times that I've accidentally strobed myself or just strobed someone in front of me whenever I was just trying to access turbo is not that amazing. And so I very much prefer the paddle of the EDC 25. So now after using the EDC 25, we're going to be my personal thoughts on this everyday carry light. Well, first off, I have a hard time calling this a true upgrade to the EDC 27. While it is true, it does have better specs, better emitters, and it's more affordable. I find this front panel a little bit too different for me to call this a true upgrade. It's a little bit too different for this to be a successor in my opinion. However, that's not to say that I don't think this can replace the EDC 27 because I find it much more practical, it's more affordable, and frankly, it's my favorite EDC light that Nightcore has put out. The entire package and delivery of this light is extremely well thought out, especially compared to the original EDC 27 release. The proximity sensor works like a dream and I love the new system that they're going with. The UI is extremely straightforward and the buttons are much more tactile. I have the EDC 27 here and just listen to the difference in the half presses of the power button. You can feel a lot more of the harsh clickness of this and it just makes operating it that much easier. And even if we were to ignore the extremely successful predecessor, the EDC 27, this is still a slim, affordable, very bright and very long lasting everyday carry light, which is very impressive in its own right. Now, of course, no flashlight is perfect for everyone, but there are definitely some quality of life changes that could be made pretty easily to make this light stand out even more than it already does. First of all, a two-way uh, clip on the back would be awesome, so that way I can use this as an impromptu headlamp and, you know, not blind myself whenever um, I clip it on my hat this way. Another thing, having this in a neutral white for everyday carry would be awesome. Uh, cool white is good enough for tactical situations as it tends to uh, keep your eyes more aware because of the stress that it puts on it um, and how it appears brighter because of the cool hue. But for an everyday carry, I would prefer a little bit more color rendering, uh, CRI, and cool white just isn't gonna do that for me. And also this light is in dire need of some heat dissipating fins down here by the LED as it gets extremely hot in its turbo and high outputs. But otherwise, those are really my only complaints that I have with the EDC 25. I definitely think that this is my favorite light coming out of Nightcore in at least the past year. And it's really impressive how many upgrades they were able to shove in this light in such a short time span in between this and the EDC 27. And while I personally never jumped on the EDC 27 bandwagon, I will definitely be picking one of these up once they become available, just because it has higher performance and it's more affordable. So there's really no reason for me not to get an amazing everyday carry like this. But otherwise, that's gonna be it on the EDC 25. It's a customizable, cutting edge and compact everyday carry light that's perfect for just about everyone. 
If you liked our coverage of the EDC 25 and all the nitty gritty details, please make sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. If not, thank you so much for watching and sticking around here to the end, and we will see you in the next one.